video I'm going to show you how to create a page that will allow users to reset their password so first of all um, I have created three pages here we have an index.php well, well I don't even have to be PHP but um, for my instance but for your case the index.php will be um, just any page and what we're going to put on here is just a link to the forgot um, forgot password page where they can enter their username and email so um, forgot password or just something like that um, click here. So if I upload this, um, you're probably wondering why I'm uploading it. It's because on my local host, you can't actually send emails without a mail server, and I haven't got a mail server. So um, I'm just uploading it to a website, and I forgot password. Click here, and that'll link to a um, page there, which is this one. So in forgot pass dot php um, we're just going to create some simple stuff um, so first off we need to require um, the dbc file or your connect file or your file that connects to the database basically um, so it's basically um, this file here um, I'm going to blank that out because it contains um, ob obviously username and password so anyway that one or you can simply just type in your mysql connect in there and connect to the database but we are using dbc um, so now second we need to create the form so if I just click, well not click, um, just make an echo here and that's going to create the form action which will go to forgot underscore pass.php so we are bringing it back to this page. You'll see why the other underscore complete comes in later on. So forward slash form um, enter your username I want to bring that onto another line and then the input type is going to be a um, text sorry um, name um, name is going to be username and we're going to paragraph that off and enter your email so they must have had you must have an email field in the database for this to work and we're just going to paragraph that off again and input type uh, submit um, we do need a value on this one seeing as we're posting it back to um, actually no we don't need a value um, yeah yeah we do actually submit I mean not a value sorry um, a name we do need a name because we're going to be posting back to this page um, so if I just upload that and click on there we get that so now if we go back to Dreamweaver, we need to create the if is set. So underneath this, oops. So if if is set dollar underscore post submit. That's why we needed a name on the submit button. Um, username is equal to dollar underscore post username and we can do the same for email is equal to 
Apple underscore post email. Right now we need to now we need to make a query, and that is equal to my SQL. Um, well, underscore query. So I'm not very good at typing today. So select all from and the table name, which on this site is main site underscore users. Where username is equal to username. So we're finding we're selecting the username that we're selecting the information the user's information from the database that the user has entered. Um if you know what I mean. So if someone enters um admin for example, then we're going to select admin from the database. So now num row I want to find out how many rows mysql underscore num rows from the query that basically just tells me how many rows are um, there how if so if so um, you'll see why we've got num rows in a minute um, so if If um, num row doesn't equal zero, so if so, say the user entered admin. If admin doesn't exist in the database, then we're going to do an else here, and we're going to put. I'm just going to echo out that user name doesn't exist okay so down in here we're going to create a while loop to get the information so while row is equal to mysql underscore fetch suck um, and that is going to be the query I presume um, and then we're going to put db underscore email is equal to row email so we're getting the email field from database so now we can do another if statement um, just under this while so if if the email the user entered matches the, the database email which it should do seen as um, that's what the user entered but just in case because we're getting it from the username if you know what I mean so we're selecting everything from the username so we need to know that if the email matches um, so basically if the email doesn't match then we're just going to else echo here um, oops. email is incorrect and then inside this if statement we are going to create a code and that is going to create a random number between let's say 10,000 and and a million that'll do um, now we're going to create our email message ready to be sent so 2 and that is going to be um, the database email um, Subject I'm going to put that as um, password reset and the body of the message is going to go here. I'm just going to type something like this is an automated email. Please 
do not reply to this email, something like that, and then click the link below or paste it into your browser and then we're just going to create um, the link back to this page so basically we're going to do we're just going to copy this forgot password page link here paste it in there and we're going to add some code on the end of it so question mark the code is equal to code and the username because we need to know what the username is that we um, asked for the password reset so we've got that there um, and that's just about it for that um, why are we getting uh, but it equals there we go right so now we need to create a query to actually um, right, this is where we need to go into the database now so in your database um, actually we're going to go into part 2 so I've just noticed the time so in part 2 I'll show you the rest of the script